Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's video. So today I wanted to show you my winter coat collection. Um, I have always loved coats and I've been collecting them for quite a long time now. So I thought it would be a good time to show you some of them. So I've got six coats to show you. Um, none of them are very traditional, I have to admit. But yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so first up I want to show you um, a couple of faux fur coats. Okay, so this is the first faux fur coat that I ever got. Um, and I of course went for a very bold leopard print. And this is by Motel Rocks, but it is so old. When did I get it? I think I got it in like 2009. So yeah, it's pretty old, but I, I wear it every winter pretty much. And it's, it's pretty much like a teddy bear now, it's, but I still love it. Um, uh, you're going to see in the cutaway like how it wears and stuff, but it's just such a lovely shape and it's a lovely print. It's just such an easy coat to wear to add that extra something to an outfit. Um, and yeah, I think at the time it was like £100, but I got it as like a Christmas present. Um, with all of these, I will try and find similar items and link them below. Um, but yeah, I think that leopard print is just an absolute must in your wardrobe, like especially for winter and especially this season it's going to be massive again. So yes, that's my first coat. Okay, so secondly is my latest addition to my faux fur collection and it is this giant plastel blue one, which I just absolutely love. It keeps me so warm, you feel like you're having a giant hug when you're wearing this. Um, and it's got some lovely detailing. Where is it? Yeah, so it, it fastens up all the way down and then it fastens around the neck with this lovely sort of really 60s plastic buckle, which I absolutely love. And it's a really nice shape, it's sort of oversized, A-line, and yeah, it's in sort of this, how would you describe the sort of texture of that? I mean, you can probably see it, it's just a very kind of rough faux fur. Um, and I got this in the shop that I worked in, in Paris, in the vintage shop. Um, we used to get faux furs in for like the sales and we charged like 15 euros which is amazing but a lot a lot of them would just be like the classic sort of black brown ones and one day I was like I want to find a pastel fur coat today and I opened a box and there it was so it was fate it was fate and I absolutely love this one it keeps me so so warm okay so keeping with the pastel theme but moving on to like more structured coats Next up I've got this like mint green, sort of uh, knee length, thick blazer, you know, structured coat. It's just such a good way of adding a bit of like colour, as with the last one, to like a wintry outfit. Um, it just stands out a bit more than like a classic black coat and yeah, it fits me so so well. Um, I got this again in the vintage shop that I worked at. Actually. <laughs> All of the ones I'm going to mention from now on will be from that shop, which is called Kilo Shop. Um, as I said, I love coats, so I'm obviously going to buy lots of coats if I work in a vintage shop. Um, so yeah, but I think I got this for like 15 euros or something, so bargain. Okay, so this next one sort of mixes the faux fur and sort of blazer style coats together, and it's this gorgeous tapestry coat um, with faux fur collar and cuffs um, and I just absolutely love it it's a lovely goldy color with this like you know deep red which are, they're just perfect colors for like autumn and winter it's just really nice I mean this is probably the least warm of them it's more of a blazer so it's good for like yeah like autumn the transitional period um, but it is nicely lined it is well lined and everything so I think I can get some good wear out of that but this is super on trend this season the kind of like you know grandma kind of like loads and loads of florals loads of patchwork and everything so I'm definitely going to be swinging this one out this season okay so next up I'm going to show you what is probably my favorite coat and definitely my like best and biggest bargain that I've ever got and it's this gorgeous Burberry trench coat <gasps> I just love it. Um, 
It's like a very dark navy colour. It's a super oversized fit. And it's great because it's got this um, removable tartan lining. You just unbutton it and then you've got like a slightly um, lighter version. So that's good for like going into transi transitional period and then you add the lining in when it gets a bit colder. And it, you know, it reaches all the way down to my ankles. Um, super oversized, super on trend, just, oh, I just love it. And I, I'm so happy I found it. I got it in, yeah, in the vintage shop. And like, I think it was like 50 euros or something. Like, that is so good for like a Burberry trench coat that's in this good condition. Like, wow, I'm so happy. Finally, I've got my beloved sheepskin coat. Um, as soon as I started working in the vintage shop, I knew that I wanted to find one of these. That's kind of just, you know, baggy, oversized super warm super soft and i found it really quickly and it was like 20 euros or something it's just so good um the fur isn't that soft inside but like on the outside the skin is so so soft it just it just keeps you so so warm and it's so easy to wear okay so i hope you've enjoyed this video um and just seen a little snippet into my collection of coats um yeah and i hope that this has given you some inspiration about what you might buy this season. You don't have to keep it to like a black minimal coat. Keep it colorful, keep it textured, keep it patterned, you know. Um, those, that would be my advice for this season. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.